Hello, Tully Tigers, and welcome back to another fabulous day of learning at Tully. We hope you had a nice, long, relaxing weekend and are ready for some learning this week. We know at Tully, every day is a great place to learn and a great day to learn at Tully. I want to just give a couple congratulations for some of our students that have been working so hard. I have seen in the hallways all of our students practicing those norms. Simply amazing. Let me tell you, I've noticed friends walking on the pause, friends walking with the zero voice. Can I tell you whose class is really um, sharp at doing this? Miss Krogan's class. So shout out to Miss Krogan's class. Remembering to keep their hands beside them or either behind you. Great job. And I'm looking for more Tilly Tigers doing the same. And I'm also, I know you've been working on our cafeteria norms and all of our teachers, thank you for taking the time to make sure they're seated in the right, right place and uh, seated appropriately and lining up on those paws quietly. Um, I know particularly in fifth grade, one of the things I'd highlight is when their teachers arrive and they walk in the transition to the hallway, Teachers in fifth grade, thank you so much for making those expectations so high. They come out on zero. They know the expectation and they're doing a great job. And we're still working on all of those things in the cafeteria. But remember, Ms. as Ms. French has shared, we want you to be able to talk with your friends during the cafeteria, but make sure we use a voice level where it's not too loud for everyone. So everyone has the opportunity to talk with their friends. If we get too loud, then people right beside us can't hear our things. So keep those cafeteria norms and show that you're respectful, responsible, and mindful every day. This month, Tully Tigers will be shining bright with respectfulness. So, all this month, we will talk about what it means to be respectful and treating others with respect. So, if you walk down um, the hallway close to the Tully Tiger, you'll see on the bulletin board, it will say, shining bright with respectfulness. And so, every month, you will see a new character trait or a new trait that we are highlighting. So this month is respectfulness. So what it looks like is to show with respect is making sure that you are treating others the way that they want to be treated. And when they have a difference of opinion than yours, that you accept it in its kind and you're accepting of their different opinion. When there is someone who is different from you, you respect them just for who they are and the way that they are. That's a great way to be respectful. So teachers will be looking at students or tigers who are demonstrating that respectfulness and so will all of the adults in the building. So I'm looking forward to seeing all those friends who are demonstrating respectfulness. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, find out what it means to me. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, Oh, I'm not Aretha Franklin. Oh, that's Is that what you want? You sound just like her. Oh, just, what? just like her. Thank just you. Thank you. Thank you. Remember, friends, respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. My name is Gavin. I'm Ritley B. Henderson. Charlie. Pippi. I'm Pippi. My name is Sophia. My name is Nora Kate. Isabella. My name is Ellie. My name is Sophia. I'm Evan. My name is Riley. I'm Eliana. I'm Hadley. I'm Sophia. I'm Ashley. My name is Kira, and I got 18th place. Hi, I'm Xavier. Hi, I'm I'm Xavier. My name is Hadley, and I came in first place at the Saint X Tiger Run.